Hello everyone, here I have with me an engineering scientific calculator Casio FX991CW and you can just look at it Femi looks it looks very good and yes obviously it does have so many functions and today in this video we are going to see how to solve a simple linear equation using this calculator and this is from the class with Casio FX991 CW so to solve this type of equation be it first degree equation second degree equation third degree equation uh, it's very simple to solve in this type of calculator so for this let us first switch on this calculator and then we have here the home button so first click on this home button then here you can find so many options so first one here we have calculate statistics distribution spreadsheet table equation and so many yeah so we have to go to equation option click on ok and then we have here one solver in the first option you can see simultaneous equation then polynomial and then solver to solve the equation uh, we will go to solver and this will solve any any kind of equation in any format click ok and here it's asking for the equation input equation so first we will input uh, the equation that we have to solve here i have the equation 2 to 4 3 4 5 9 7 9 equals to 0 0.87 into 250 into ast into 550 minus 0 0.42 into 291.5 the equation is from rcc and here i will input the equation so let us input the value 2 2 4 3 4 5 9 7 9 and then here you can see here is also equal to and here is also equal to so which equal to we shall use here in other version we had different process and in this version what we can do here is here you can see the shift button click on shift and then equals to yes click on shift and then equals to and after writing the equal to sign we have 0 0.87 into 250 250 yes 250 and then you can see there ast ast means any variable we have to find ast in this particular equation but you can enter any variable in this calculator so in the place of ast we will be using this x so i will put here multiply x yes and then bracket so before bracket you can use multiply sign also or we can proceed without using the multiple sign so just open the bracket and type the value 5 5 0 then minus 0 0.5 4 into what is 291.5 and then close the bracket if you want to check your equation you can check one by one two two four three four five nine seven nine equals to 0 0.87 into 250 into x into 550 minus 0 0.42 into 291.5 and bracket close so don't forget to close the bracket after checking the equation here it is execute so just press this button and here you are asked to enter the initial value for x so you can enter any initial value for x suppose i entered here 100 yes and after entering click on execute and again this equals to and yes here you can get the value of x you can see there x is equal to 2412.413793 if you if you again uh, want to enter some other value for x it will still give the same value for example again execute then again it's asking for enter initial value x is equal to 0 suppose i keep here uh, initially i had entered there 100 and now if i would like to enter 0 only no other value only zero and again execute 
then still you can get the same value 2412.413793 and again if you want to go out of this function then what you can do just click on home button and again you find all these options and select whatever you like so you want to go to calculate that is simple mathematical calculations and then move to calculate and then select on this or press this ok button ok and yes you are here so you can see how simple it is to solve equations in this Casio FX 991CW and for more videos like this stay tuned to this channel and if you are new please subscribe thanks for watching